weather briefings. Prior to every flight, you should gather all information vital to the nature of the flight. It's important to know if the weather conditions are suitable for your type and route of flight. Now, a weather briefing is needed to calculate and to ensure a safe flight and to complete a flight plan. Begin by simply looking out the window. Use the telephone or the internet. Watch the local weather station on television and even read the newspaper. Now, if you have access to a PC, log on to Duot and get a complete weather briefing online and file your flight plan there. The Golden Eagle flight prep software is available to do this for free. For your flight planning, you can do it a number of different ways. You can just go ahead and call up the flight service station, or you can use a computer. Now, most fixed space operators will have a computer very much like this, and there's a number of flight planning systems that you can use. Now, I like to use flight prep, for example, right here. It's a nice flight planner. It gives you the lot of flight plus a vertical profile. Also, for your home use, you can use Golden Eagle Duots as well, and there's a free software package. Finally, contact the FSS, or Flight Service Station Weather Briefer. You can do this by calling this phone number, 1-800-WX-BRIEF, 24 hours a day. Identify yourself as a pilot. Now, the first time you make that call, make sure you tell them you are a student pilot. They may take a little more time with you and help you through this weather briefing. However, once again, any time you make that call, you need to identify yourself as a pilot. Now, in addition, you need to provide some basic information when you request your weather briefing. That information includes the type of flight plan you're going to be making. Is it VFR or IFR? The aircraft identification and type of aircraft you'll be flying. You fly in a J3 Cub or a Lear 60. Now, include your name, departure, route, and your final destination. The altitude you plan on flying. Departure time, when you're going to be leaving. In route time, how long to get from point A to point B. Estimated time of arrival, when are you going to arrive? There are different briefings you can request. Now, the Outlook briefing covers six hours or more in weather conditions before your proposed departure time. Now, request an Outlook briefing if you're calling six hours or more in advance of the actual time you plan on lifting off. Now, the standard weather briefing provides a complete weather history for the briefing of your planned flight what the conditions are when you take off, the conditions in route, and upon arrival. Now, you request a standard weather briefing to get a complete weather briefing. Finally, an abbreviated weather briefing. This briefing is used primarily to update a previous briefing, either the Outlook or the Standard, to supplement or to add to information you already have. Perhaps get new winds aloft information or temperature information for your route of flight and for your arrival. Request an abbreviated briefing to supplement mass disseminated data or only when one or two items are needed. Now here are the definitions of weather conditions you will encounter with weather reports and with charts. Visual flight rules, or VFR, means ceilings greater than 3,000 feet and visibilities greater than 5 miles. Next, marginal VFR. Now, this is when a ceiling is between 1,000 and 3,000 feet and visibilities are anywhere from about 3 to 5 miles. Last, IFR. IFR is defined as ceilings of 500 feet or less to 1,000 feet and visibilities of 1 to 3 miles. If you do not have an instrument flight rating and your airplane is not IFR equipped, you cannot legally fly when IFR weather conditions exist. A ceiling is defined as the height above the Earth's surface from the lowest layer of clouds or obscuring phenomena 
such as fog or haze.